Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the six reasons Magic Digital Next, which is the new product, is the future of Magic. First of all, I, there's very little information about Magic Next Digital or Magic Digital Next, and this is what I can figure out from it. So it's going to be simplified and modernized, meaning the card pool is not going to be like 13,000. Hearthstone has a card pool of 1,000. And it's enough, right? They're, they are expanding, but not very rapidly, and they don't need to. Uh, and if you look at Standard, Standard doesn't have a card pool of 13,000. That's just magic in general. Why, if you don't want to support Vintage, and you don't want to support Legacy, and you don't want to support you know, older formats, then why should those cards have, why should you spend all that time coding those? And I guarantee you, those cards are hard to code, because back in that day, Magic has always been a paper game. It's hard to translate paper into digital, especially when you never expected to go digital in 1993. Um, so six reasons that the Magic Digital Next is the future of Magic. Uh, simplified and modernized, great opportunity to do both. You cannot do that to a card game, a physical paper card game. It's not possible because you've already created so many cards. Uh, no more card stores, gambling laws, or secondary markets. Uh, League of Legends does have like a secondary market, but for skins, it doesn't really affect your gameplay. Uh, which, you know, some might say, oh, well, you know, if you can buy better cards, you can pay to win, which is true. And people don't like that. People, if you're a new casual player and you're Chris Moneymaker, you want to be able to win that large poker tournament, but not have, you know, you know to do all these things. And I think Chris Moneymaker went from a satellite. So a satellite is like 10 people put in a $1,000 and then the winner goes to the tournament because the tournament costs $10,000. So you can do stuff like that. And I think the gambling laws are a problem. It is a problem. Uh, there is a reason that the Magic Judges cannot be paid. There is a reason Magic Pro cannot be play, paid. And there's a reason that stores cannot give you cash at FNM. But imagine if the store did give you a cash payout at FNM and not credit. That probably would get more people to play because it would be more similar to poker than anything else. And then on the, the secondary card market, such, you know, I love, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I do love reporting on it, but I hate what it has become. Because it's not always been this way. I remember back, way back in the day, you would get this Inquest magazine once a month, and then everyone would be like, oh man, look, you know, look at this card price, it changed so much. And like, <laughs> that was the good days. Now it's just ridiculous. Card spikes all over. Third, mag paper magic is too expensive, and guess what? It's only going to become more and more expensive. Next, there's no cheating, so that's good. So paper magic, there's a lot of cheating. You can use animations to tell your story, which is very important when your casual crowd doesn't really understand what's going on to begin with. And confusing cards can be cut. You don't need 13,000 cards. You can just get 2,500 of them, just like a standard card pool. So I believe that's why the magical magic Digital Next is the future of Magic Gathering. Please leave a comment if you agree, you disagree, if you have more information about what it is. I have no idea what it is. I've done a lot of research and I cannot find um, their commitment to this is what it does and this is why we did it. Well, why they did it was because they want to be an eSport. So if this is what it takes to be an eSport, then these are the things that are involved or part of what's going to be involved in Magic Digital Next. Anyway, bye guys.